Good morning. It's Father's Day. Yeah, June 18th. It's Father's Day. <laughs> So first things first, gym time. guys I think we're just about ready to head to the gym um so what happened was the kids and Merlani wanted to come so they're gonna drop me off it's chest day today so be ready happy father's day dad happy F father's day dad <laughs> Looks like it's gonna clear up today. See the sun peeking from the east side. Morning. Morning. That's a cool sweater you got on. Let me see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> What's up guys, Jerez here, uh, thanks for tuning in to the vlog, I'm just going to walk you through exactly what I'm doing so you guys know a little more of where I'm trying to come from with my exercises. Um, I had a pretty good yesterday, meaning I ate good, my macros were there, I had enough protein, I carved up a little bit so I could have a good workout today because I knew on Father's Day, which is this morning you see right here, I was gonna hit the gym right when I woke up. That's exactly what I did. So I did have a little pre-workout, um, maybe 30 minutes before this. So yeah, I was feeling pretty good by the time I got to the gym. Today was just to touch the chest. I, I worked chest maybe two or three days ago and it was kinda healed up pretty good. So I just wanted to touch it again today just cause it was like a free day, like it's a Sunday, you know? I usually start off with the stair climber, stair master, whatever you want to call it, for about 10 to 15 minutes before I even start working out, just to get my blood flowing, get that pre-workout in the in the veins, you know. So I, I hit, I try to hit like left and the right side just to get those the glutes looking good, you know. Hamstrings firing, the glutes firing, just blood just start flowing through your body. I, you start to sweat a little bit once you hit seven to eight minutes and it starts to feel good. And when you start to hit the weights, you already have blood in your muscles to carry you through the workout. You already have those glycogen in there. So, yeah. Okay, here we go, guys. So, I started off my workout today with the Hammer Strength Incline press machine which targets the upper chest i really really like this machine we have the the other hammer strengths to the left of this machine which decline your seat back two more times than this angle right here but i really like this one because i feel like having that shelf by your collarbone just sticking out is just way more aesthetic so i usually start with one plate 10 to 12 reps and I move on to two plates. You just slam out 10 to 12 reps. Then again, this is just warming up. So I'm just warming up that pectoral muscles, you know, getting that blood in there. And I was feeling pretty good. Like I said, it carved up a little bit last night. So I threw some weight on there. 
you know, felt pretty good. Wow, that looks really heavy. <laughs> but, you know, just locking it in there, keeping it real. I decided to put one more plate on it. Push it up, tried to get another, another one, and ah, I couldn't get it up there. Felt good anyway. Bring it back down to two, more realistically. <laughs> Pump that out for about eight reps. Came down, did more of a close grip so I can get those tricep muscles firing. And I went downstairs, and downstairs is where the free weights are at. And I like to wrap my wrist just because, you know, just to be safe. <laughs> if I do choose to go heavy, I can go heavy with these wrist wraps. Um, I started off with the 50s, 10 to 12 reps. Um, yeah, I, I hit the incline because, you know, I'm trying to build that upper shelf by my collarbone. Feeling pretty good. Kicked it up to 70 pounds, 10 to 12 reps. You all might say, look at those half reps, look at those half reps. But man, these half reps, they <laughs> it's all about that mind-muscle connection, guys. If you feel it, and you know it's growing, stick with it. And if it's working, don't change it. So I just kept that concept in there. Here's the 80s going up. Yeah, these are already pretty heavy for me. Then again, I'm fasted. It's morning, you know, but you know, I've, I was feeling good. It's Father's Day. Oh, these, man. Between sets, guys. Hit some of these just to get that blood in there. Once you're pumped, man, you hit some of those, <laughs> you got veins coming up your chest. So after that, maybe I, I did maybe three or four sets of these. The incline kind of like a, like a fly, and I turn it in just to get that inner chest firing. These feel really good. You come down nice and slow, get that negative isolation in that center chest. And guys, I do not rest when I work out, hardly ever, unless I'm talking to somebody, but I always trying to get the most pump out of my workout, so I, I hit biceps. <laughs> I hit biceps in the middle of my chest set, just to get that aesthetic look pump. Then after that, I was kind of getting it in the way of everybody, so I moved my tripod to the side, and I got some flies in there. I dropped the weight down, got some... Uh, chest flat bench fly isolation movement see how I'm turning those dumbbells in I'm squeezing my chest you can actually see the striations in my chest a little bit not that lean right now but you can see them and I usually close it up a little bit at the end and pump out five or six just to get that blood flow in there and here's what I want to show everybody it's these like standing upward raises where you turn your your wrist in bring the dumbbell in and it's all upper chest guys use your mind muscle connection on this because it's all upper chest and this shit works i really really like it and then my battery died guys so this would be my last set for you guys to see but then my battery died so it just pumped out a little bit more uh flies i did way more after this but it pumped out a little bit more flies and then yeah Hope you guys enjoyed the workout. Here's her. Enjoy the video. Um, the most thing you like. What do you have for me? Ooh, wow. I love that. Hello. Landis Sage. You drew this yourself? Yeah. Ooh, wow. That's a bunny for you. Oh, thank you. He kisses. Wow. Look at this. Look at this side. I got the other side. Happy Father's Day, Jerez. <laughs> What's that? That's me? Yeah, you play That's baseball. Me. I play baseball. And who's this? You? Yeah. Oh, check it out, guys. It's from Lander. I love Dad. Hello. I love Dad. Hello. Lander. Happy Father's Day. Revolution. That's that's me and that's Lucian playing baseball. Finish up his games. Finish up his games. Finish up his games. Chris, happy Father's Day, man. 
Hey, Dad. Hey, Dad. Happy Father's Day. Uh, just got home from the gym, actually. <laughs> what are you guys doing? We're just hanging out. Drink coffee and watch the birds. Mauna Kea, ocean, you know. Watching the birds? Birds. Oh. Nature, nature. Nature. How about you? What are you doing? Uh, we're going to head out to the Moku Market. You should meet us out there. Maybe I'll take a shower, so we'll meet you out there. Okay, we'll let it, we'll let you know when we get there. Okay, shoot. Okay. Bye. My father. Father. Hello. Hey, uncle. Hello. Hey, how's it, brother? Morning. Happy Father's Day. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Yeah, okay. thank you. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day. Too, eh? Yeah, thanks. You too. Bye. Bye. Kepara! 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 Finally guys, we are off to the Maku Market! Is ready back there? No. No, they're not ready. Well, it's Father's Day and you guys don't matter because it's my day! glad because it's not that sunny not that hot it's overcast looks like it's pretty busy hopefully we can get a good parking we always get lucky right I gotta get a dollar up where am I gonna get a dollar from oh, let me turn let me turn let me turn don't hit me white people ah. really? Really? don't hit the white people I'm gonna make it rain I'll make it rain on me. Make it rain. Oh, what? Uh, no. Oh, and up the price. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta make a load. <laughs> Happy Father's Day. Yeah. <laughs> oh, now I cannot buy what I like for eat. I had to pay for the entrance fee, guys. <laughs> yeah, I'll put it. Pepperoni, spinach, and cheese. Okay. Your name? Jerez. I'm lemon juice. Lemon juice? Yeah. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, Jack Free. <laughs> Happy Father's Day, brother. There's just so much good food here. We don't know what to choose. Can we use some capers? Yes, please. No one there. Yeah, no there. Oh, that's mean. Okay. Hi. How are you doing? Her name is Bailey. We met Bailey. We met Bailey. Yeah, we met Bailey. 
You want mine? Oh, dude, Pete, we're can you do Ready, Do you want some Oh, no, thanks. Are you sure? I love my Ready? So, we had our good meal. Now we're gonna go check out the vendors. Anymore. My dermatologist said no tanning. No tanning. None. Guys, there's so many different vendors. There's so many different products to, to buy, to shop for, for like a gift or something. I'm just overwhelmed. I can't buy anything. What's up, bro? Everything. <laughs> Good. So we hung out. We got it done. Now we're gonna go ahead to the Lava Tree Park. Which is a uh, pretty much a walking park where you just walk around and look at the uh, the lava trees, which are trees that got covered with lava, and it's pretty damn cool. So we're gonna head out of here. Hope you guys had fun hanging out with us at the Maku Market, and we'll see you at Lava Tree Park. What's up guys? We're here at Lava Tree Park and they don't have a sign. I was trying to get a sign Hello. so I could show you guys where we're at but this is what it looks like here and this is like the first thing you see when you come into this park. There's this huge, huge hole and it's freaking awesome. Crack in the earth. I really don't know how deep it is. So this is a perfect example of a lava tree, a tree that's been uh, covered with lava and it's now a, how do you say, what is this called? Monument? Yeah. Um, a monument? Petrified? Petrified? Petroglyph? Anyway, Solid. anyway, it's a fucking tree that got covered with lava. That's what it is. This is what we came in all the way here for. a beautiful beautiful hike um a little tip to you guys vacationing out here in hawaii if you guys like see any lava you guys want to take it home little rocks you know they make nice artifacts don't do it because what is from here should stay here and if you do decide to take it home bad things could happen to you there's a lot of stories about people who who are taking these things home with them and the the energy and the mana that is with that that came from here is still with it the haunting is gonna come haunt your ass and it's not gonna be good not gonna be good dude I wouldn't try it so whatever you see you should just stay there don't touch it take a picture it's gonna last forever better yet put it on an SD card on your hard drive at home put it on Facebook cloud that shit don't take it home. Cheers. What's up guys? So I'd like to thank everybody for following us and hanging on. 
this long ass vlog that I made. Um, I'd like to wish all the fathers out there happy Father's Day. Stay true to you, yourself, your family.